Well, uh, you, you get to finish up and, and steer a course between um, anarchy and chaos outside the uh, confines of London and, and the prospect of better plumbing. Gosh, where to begin? Um, I think I'd pick up, uh, I'd pick up um, some of the points that uh, Matthew made. Um, you know, we're just a week after uh, the Federal Reserve Bank of the United States um, took on $30 billion of credit risk with Bear Stearns Investment Bank and bailed it out. A, uh, a moment that Martin Wolf in today's Financial Times records as the end of the period in which we believe in the dream of um, liberal free market globalization. Um, in the same time, we've nationalized Northern Rock for some reasons that the Federal Reserve uh, um, uh, took on the best stands of that So that's something to be said to those on the right who've championed the cause of you know, individualism, free markets as the right way to organize economy and society. Equally, uh, on the left, um, I think that um, the cause of being statist as a, as, um, a solution to uh, economic and social problems uh, has similarly kind of wound its um, course. And in a way, it's game on between left and right, for, um, for my money. To a degree, I think, um, we're all liberal now in this respect. But I think that the kind of questions that economic and political philosophers have been kind of asking for the last two or three hundred years since the Enlightenment how does one live a life well? Uh, to which the left and the liberal tradition have proffered many more answers, I have to say, than the right. I've played a game with these politicians over the last two years, asking them um, to name um, the intellectuals or things they've read which have influenced their decision to enter politics or the way they think. And if you're uh, on the left, the, the list is enormous. I mean, it's John Rawls, it's Braith, it's Keynes, it's, uh, it's Amartya Sen, some will mention Simone de Beauvoir, others will mention Jean-Paul Sartre, others will mention Hannah Arendt. On the right, the answers very rarely get beyond um, Adam Smith, Edmund Burke, and um, uh, one person, Henry Kissinger. One famously answered David Willits, which I thought was <laughs> um, And Because uh, that is the, you know, you're in public life, um, either as an author or a, or a kind of intellectual commentator like all of us are, with the exceptions of Dennis and Greg, um, because in a way you think, you hope you've got something to say about what it means to live a life well. Peter has you know, decided views on it. Actually, it was quite amusing. I knew that you know, Peter has a sulfurous reputation, and I sat down, and there was an amazing smell of burning when I came in. <laughs> and I thought, my God, those were his really, bicycle tires. <laughs> he, he, really, he really is sulfurous. And he equally thought I was the sulfurous man for the left. We'd both turned around, and, and we read that he put his, he's put his jacket in front of me on the light behind us, and it caught fire. And, <laughs> um, and no, no, don't think that's your fault. No, no, it's out now, yeah. So, I mean, and I think it's game on between left and right um, about how you answer that question in times in which you can't reach out for the state automatically and you can't reach out for the market. And that's why I say, equally, both sides of this argument try to answer the question, how to live a life well. And I think the answers lie um, broadly in the British liberal tradition. It's why David Cameron um, champions liberal conservatism and it's why Blairism was a form of, a kind of liberal labourism, with both men reaching out to this tradition as the answer to that um, question. And uh, I, I think uh, in some parts of the forest, uh, Cameron and one of the people around him have done some um, heavier lifting uh, in relation to their tradition than the Labour Party has. That's partly because they're in government and partly because of, uh, in my view, kind of almost congenital timidity that has descended upon Labour in its third term. Um, I still think on points, though, that the left have got the better of the argument. And I think if the Conservative Party is going to win the next election decisively, um, the more liberal um, it becomes, um, and I think um, David Cameron recognises this, and uh, one of the people around him do, I'm not sure that many of the commentariat who support the Conservative Party do, which is one of great opportunity, of course, for the left. Um, uh, 
the, the, there are some areas where I think they've actually um, put some, uh, really done some um, thinking which the left could um, champion or adopt or think through its own position because um, we're all richer, we're better educated, we're more discerning, we want to move, we're moved up Maslow's hierarchy of need, we're answering that question. It's about choice in public services, where I think the, the Labour Party has been dragged, kicking and screaming by the Blairites, um, and where I think the uh, Cameroonians have actually um, uh, got a better line of sight on um, what the solution is in a liberal age. Um, it's about trying to boundary between individual and the state, and I think that um, the Labour Party is still, to my mind, um, a bit too instinctively statist. I don't like its instincts on security, I don't like its instincts on the decline, I don't like its you know, instincts to kind of micromanage one's choices. I want to make my choices myself, I'm a grown-up, I'm an adult, and I want to take responsibility for them. And that's a very, very strongly held view amongst, I think, the British today. I think it's one of the reasons why um, there's been such kind of heavy um, uh, that the Labour Party under Brown has actually encountered some of the kind of lack kickback it has. Um, I think also um, there's a bit, having said that, um, where I give, uh, and I think on culture too, where I think that um, culture is not state-led. Culture is produced by the people, by individuals, and uh, I think that again, more pluralist creation of culture is something which I think where.